students. So basically, when you look at uh, most of the Zambian uh, students and pupils, they come from a background where they've not used computers at all. In Zambia, there's a difficulty to access computers. First of all, um, the government had introduced ICT in like all the high schools. So with that, it meant that some schools didn't have um, enough computers or just didn't have in, like access to computers. The computer studies the exam in Zambia for juniors, grade eight and nine, especially grade nine, is in two parts. And the practical part is basically hands-on on computers. And you cannot do that, or you cannot conduct that exam without computers. And it's limited, all the exam only takes a day. So if you have 300 candidates, they have to finish in a day. And there was a year when we did the whole night up to morning. In relation to bridging the gap between those who are able and those who do not have access to both the skills as well as the equipment, we went out to look for a partner. And that's how we got in touch with Computer Aid International on both the aspect of providing the refurbished computers as well as providing whatever skills to the teachers first and foremost. Computer Ed, in partnership uh, with CETA, donated uh, computers to 10 schools. So with this project, uh, Schoolnet Zambia uh, were the implementers of this project in Zambia. Um, phase one uh, was um, more like training for the teachers. And there was also the second phase, there was further training for the teachers as well. Then the third phase um, was training for the students in schools. So that's uh, forming of coding clubs. Through time classes, I learned how to use the computer, how to navigate through the browser and the internet. Then from there, coding. Okay, the coding club is a club where we mostly make computer games, software, application, literally anything digital. Yeah, we're currently working on a website for the school, my friends and I. So we just want to create a website for the school, which is going to be easy for people with smartphones. In case you would like to know a thing or two about the school, you can just go to their website and check it out instead of you physically coming here. The training was so very useful. Uh, before undertaking, undergoing the training, and I was not confident enough in terms of expressing certain skills about computer studies. We had a teacher from our neighboring school here, Nyumbayanga Primary. They came to use the computer so that they can even have just basic knowledge on computer. So it's not just helping us teachers at Nyumbayanga and the pupils, even the community around us. I usually use my experience whenever I have an opportunity to teach computers. I first had to touch a computer when I was in my first year at university. So look, at my age at that time, that's when I was exposed to a computer. But there are some who have gone and they are working in offices where they, even here at the university, we've got professors when you tell them they're going to deliver a lesson using PowerPoint, they will, even, they will, they will be so scared because they are not used to the computer. So basically, what I'm saying is that we're grateful for that initiative because it's empowering the lecturers who may never have had a computer and empowering the teachers. And when the teacher is empowered, they go to inspire the pupils and in the end to contribute to the digital interests of our country and beyond. A big thank you to Sita for donating these computers to our school. They have been very helpful in terms of teaching and both to teachers and pupils, they have been very beneficial.